German Skynex will enhance air defense capabilities of Ukraine. Germany has transferred another Skynex air defense system to Ukraine. This system is capable of intercepting drones and combating missiles without utilizing costly resources. Skynex is a surface-to-air artillery system developed by Rheinmetall. Introduced in November 2021, it belongs to the category of short-range air defense systems similar to the German Gepard self-propelled anti-aircraft guns. Its primary armament is the 35mm Erlikon Mk3 automatic cannon with a firing range of 4,000 meters and a rate of fire of 1,000 rounds per minute. The cannon module includes an X-band tracking radar for autonomous target search. Skynex demonstrated its capability by successfully intercepting a swarm of eight small UAVs during testing. It uses programmable 35mm ahead ammunition developed by Rheinmetall, which is more cost-effective compared to missile-based air defense systems. These ammunition types are immune to electronic countermeasures during firing. The system incorporates the Erlikon Skymaster command and control system, allowing remote operation from any location. It comes equipped with both high explosive fragmentation and armor piercing projectiles. It particularly offers programmable ahead ammunition, which enhances firing efficiency and reduces ammunition expenditure, especially against complex and maneuverable targets. One significant advantage of Skynex over other air defense systems is its cost effectiveness. While a missile for Iris T can cost between 300,000 euros and 500,000 euros, destroying an aerial target with Skynex can be as low as 4,000 euros. The system itself cost $90.5 million. In addition to countering drone swarms, Skynex can also engage cruise missiles and operate as part of an integrated air defense system, receiving target information from a centralized command center. In December 2022, German media reports citing sources revealed that Rheinmetall would manufacture two Skynex systems for an unnamed country, likely Ukraine. By April 2023, Prime Minister Denis Shmihal announced that Skynex was already operational in Ukraine's airspace. The first battery of the system, produced by Rheinmetall, Italia and funded by the German government under a $160 million contract, was delivered that year. Furthermore, Germany recently updated its military aid to Ukraine, including armored vehicles, ammunition, and the Skynex air defense system. Confiscated Russian assets will allow Ukraine to finance war until 2028. Ukraine has received a vital military assistance of $61 billion from the United States. However, Kyiv still needs a medium-term financing plan to withstand pressure from Russia, according to Reuters. The central element of the financing plan should be the mobilization of frozen assets of the Moscow Central Bank to compensate for the war damages. Reuters suggests that the American aid package will provide Ukraine with weapons and ammunition until approximately the end of 2025. Therefore, during this period, Ukraine may once again run out of arms. Even if Joe Biden is re-elected as US president this November, he may struggle to get more money out of Congress. And if Donald Trump returns to the White House, American support for Ukraine will be even more precarious given the Republican candidate's previous lack of commitment to Kyiv's defense, the article states. A multi-year financing plan for Ukraine would have several advantages. First and foremost, it would provide some insurance against political fluctuations in the United States. It would also bolster the morale of Ukrainians and give Western arms manufacturers more confidence in expanding production. The main way to get much more money for Ukraine is to mobilize Russian assets frozen by Western countries at the beginning of the war, amounting to approximately $320 billion. If the countries guaranteed interest from the assets for a decade, they might raise 30 to 40 billion euros. While this will help, it will not be a game changer because it will fund Ukraine for less than half a year, the report says. It is emphasized that if Ukraine receives $320 billion, it will be a completely different matter. That would finance the war until at least the end of 2028. If the belligerents ended or froze the conflict before then, Ukraine could use some of the money to rebuild its economy, which the World Bank estimates will cost $486 billion, 
The material says, since the start of the full-scale war in Ukraine, Western countries have frozen over $300 billion of Russian assets. So far, they have not been able to confiscate them due to legal and reputational risks. In this regard, the United States and G7 countries are considering several options. Transferring the proceeds from Russian assets to Ukraine to buy weapons, transferring Russian assets to Ukraine as compensation for Russia's invasion, using frozen Russian assets as collateral for loans to Ukraine. Vice President of the European Commission, Valdis Dombrovskis, stated that $300 billion in frozen Russian assets could be used as collateral for lending to Ukraine. Earlier, Reuters reported that the group of seven countries are considering discussing the idea proposed by the United States to confiscate proceeds from Russian assets at the summit scheduled for June.